today we are going to discuss the bradykinin its uh, formation and its different action and its role is a vasodilator in the uh, control of blood flow basically we are discussing humoral control of blood flow by the tissues we have discussed again and again that humoral control means the control of the blood flow by different substances which are basically secreted or absorbed into the body fluids these substances or enzymes or hormones they are basically classified as vasoconstrictor agents or vasodilator agents they control the blood flow either by constricting the blood vessel or dilating the blood vessels we have discussed in the uh, detail the vasoconstrictor agents like epinephrine norepinephrine angiotensin 2 vasopressin and endothelin a in previous lectures and now we are starting a vasodilator agents the most important vasodilator agents which helps in the blood flow control to the tissues is uh, bradykinin now bradykinin is group of uh, agents uh, it is basically one of the agents known is kinins which these kinins basically cause dilation of the blood flow and dila uh, dilation of the blood vessels and dilation of the blood vessels basically cause vaso increased blood flow how bradykinins are basically formed in the blood so normally the bradykinins or any kind of kinins they are split from alpha 2 globulins these are kind of proteins which are present in the blood and when uh, these are split with the help of different enzymes and kinins are formed and the most important kinin is bradykinin now alpha 2 globulin is present in the blood and when there is some inflammation or some maceration of the tissues any trauma inflammation or some chemicals these inflammation and maceration activates an enzyme known as calecrin the calecrin when get when it gets activated it splits calidin from alpha 2 globulin inflammation occurs in human body this inflammation or maceration or trauma it activates calecrin which is an enzyme which is normally inactive in the blood this calecrin when gets activated with the help of this inflammation it acts on this alpha 2 globulin and helps in the formation of calidin now different tissue enzymes act on calidin and it helps in the formation of bradykinin now once the bradykinin is formed it acts at the level of inflammation which basically activated the calecrin and at that level it causes vasodilation it dilates the blood vessels so that the blood flow increases it also increases the capillary permeability suppose for example this is a capillary and blood is flowing here so bradykinin it increases the permeability of the capillary so that fluid can come out and blood flow can increase so with the help of vasodilation and increased permeability of the capillaries it increases the blood flow so blood flow by uh, hence it's this bradykinin helps in the control of blood flow to different tissues previously we discussed vasoconstrictor agents they would control the blood flow by vasoconstriction but bradykinins they dilate they increase the blood flow by vasodilation so how bradykinin is formed it is formed when inactive calecrin gets activated by inflammation and it acts on alpha 2 globulin and forms calidin once calidin is formed tissue enzyme act on calidin and it helps in the formation of bradykinin bradykinin then causes vasodilation increase permeability and increase blood flow at the level of inflammation and helps in the blood flow it regulates the blood flow so injection of bradykinin can increase blood flows or if it a small amount of uh, bradykinin is injected it can increase 6 to 7 times the blood flow so once the calecrin is activated it is deactivated or it is destroyed with the help of calecrin inhibitor calecrin inhibitor destroys the calecrin inflammation activates the calecrin and calecrin once activated it splits 
calidin from alpha 2 globulin but once it has acted acted on the alpha 2 globulin it is destroyed or it is inhibited with the help of calicrin inhibitor and the bradykinin the life of bradykinin in blood is also very uh, small a uh, few minutes it remains in the blood for few minutes and then it is destroyed by carboxypeptidase once it has caused the vasodilation it has increased the permeability of the capillaries and it has increased the blood flow it is destroyed or deactivated by carboxypeptidase which are different enzymes so as vasoconstrictor agents control the blood flow similarly vasodilator agents control the blood flow vasoconstrictor agents included epinephrine norepinephrine and uteensin 2 etc vasodilator agents include bradykinin and histamine the most important is bradykinin and it is split from the alpha 2 globulins with the help of calicrin and calicrin gets activated with the help of inflammation and once bradykinin is formed it causes vasodilation increase the permeability of the capillaries and increase the blood flow so hence it helps as a humoral agent as a vasodilator agent in the blood flow so that's all about the formation and actions of bradykinin thanks a lot for watching the video